I must say, everyone, here is a problem on uh, uh, AC circuits. The problem looks long, but it is very easy. In a series LCR circuit, uh, so all the three components are connected. Uh, capacitance 10 to the power minus 11 farad, inductor 10 to the power minus 5 Henry, resistor 100 ohm. Uh, when a constant DC voltage is applied initially to the circuit, the capacitor requires a charge of 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. The DC source is then replaced by AC source. So what is the description of the AC source? Uh, the AC source has the peak voltage, which is same as that of the DC. What DC you have used in the beginning? Same value, peak value, AC is applied. What is the peak value of voltage across the capacitor and the inductor at resonance? That's what they are asking. Now we will concentrate on the first part, that is this one. In a series LCR circuit, we are connecting a DC. So you will have a circuit with the resistor and capacitor and an inductor, resistor, inductor and capacitor connected to a DC. What will happen if I switch on a DC circuit here? Now, when I switch on the DC, initially the, in the circuit, what happens is all the voltage will be across the inductor. Initially, the inductor will acquire all the voltage. But slowly, all the voltage acquires, is acquired by the capacitor. The full voltage, DC voltage, what we have applied here, when the circuit is switched on, initially appears across inductor. Finally, it will be across. The, because in, initially, the voltage across the capacitor is zero because capacitor will be just charging. After a long time, all the voltage will appear across capacitor. And you know that once the capacitor gets completely charged, it doesn't allow any current to flow through. So when the current through the circuit is zero, no voltage across the resistor, no voltage across inductor. Because if you want voltage across inductor, there should be a very variable current, the change which will produce a change in the magnetic flux. Once the current reaches peak, it is a constant current and it doesn't produce any variation across L. Of course, once the capacitor gets completely charged, uh, it doesn't allow any current to flow through. So all the voltage appears across capacitor. So from the first line, we will find out what is the voltage of the battery that is DC battery that is connected in the beginning. In a series LCR circuit, C is known, L is known, R is known. When a constant DC voltage is applied to the circuit, the capacitor requires a charge of 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Remember that charge is because of the full voltage appear, appearing across the capacitor. So I can write Q equal to CV. So what is V? That implies V equal to Q by C. That implies V equal to Q, the charge across the capacitor, uh, by C, the capacitance of the capacitor. So that comes to 10 to the power minus 11. When it comes to the numerator, it becomes 10 to the power plus 11 minus 9, 10 to the power 2. So the voltage that was applied was 100 volt. This is the voltage across the battery, which appeared completely across the capacitor when DC is applied. Okay. So, first part is over. We got whatever we are in need of. That is voltage. Same peak value 100 volt is, uh, AC is applied later. So, when you connect an AC across the same three components, you know what is this behavior. So, we will draw a circuit for it. A resistor an inductor and a capacitor. A resistor and an inductor and a capacitor are connected to an AC now. So, like this. Resistor is a 100 ohm. Capacitor is 10 to the power minus 11, 11 farad. And um, uh, inductor is 10 to the power minus 5 Henry. 10 to the power minus 500, this is 100 ohm. Now, this is uh, 100 volt. 100 volt peak to peak. It is not uh, um, um, it is not RMS because they have mentioned it. The peak voltage of that AC is equal to the value of DC itself. Okay. So, we have connected it now. 10 to the power minus 9, sorry, minus 11 farad, minus 500 and R equal 100 ohm. Then, okay, now what is the peak value of voltage across the capacitor and inductor at resonance? Now, what is this frequency? If it is at resonance, uh, resonant frequency is given by 
omega naught is equal to 1 by root L C. L and C values are known. Omega naught is equal to 1 by root L. L is a, so this is R, this is L, this is C. 10 to the power minus 5 into C is 10 to the power minus 11. And that comes to 1 by root of 10 to the power minus 6. No, oh, sorry, minus 16. 10 to the power minus 16. So, when you take the square root, it becomes 10 to the power 8. 10 to the power 8 hertz. This is 10 to the power minus 16. And that implies omega naught is equal to 1 by 10 to the power minus 8. That omega naught is 10 to the power 8 radians per second because this is uh, uh, omega naught. Okay. Now, their question is, what is the peak value of voltage across the capacitor and inductor at resonance? You know that at resonance, XL and XC are equal. And the total impedance of the circuit is uh, uh, resistance itself. So, at resonance, XL is equal to XC and uh, I is equal to V by Z, which is nothing but I is equal to V by R. Uh, so, it is all peak value. So, you need not convert it into RMS. So, if I want to calculate what is I, V, V is 100 peak value and R is 100. So, it is 1 ampere. So, what is the voltage across L and C? So, hope you have understood this. At resonance, XL and XA are equal. So, Z equal to R. So, Z is equal to R itself. So, I equal V by is R. V by R is V by 100, uh, 100 volt by 100, that is 1 ampere. This is peak value, I not. Okay. Now, wh what is the voltage across XL and XC at resonance? Uh, L and C at resonance. We have to find out XL or XC. So, XL is equal to omega naught L. Omega naught we know, 10 to the power 8. What is L? L we have already used it once, 10 to the power minus 5 energy. 10 to the power minus 5. So, that comes to 10 to the power 3. That is equal to 1000 ohm. It is 1000 ohm. So, once we get this 1000 ohm, then you can find out what is voltage. And this is also, therefore, Xc is also equal to 1000 ohm or 10 to the power 3 ohm. So, voltage across L is equal to voltage across C, which is equal to I naught into Xl. I naught is 1 ampere into XL is 10 to the power 3, that is 10 to the power 3 volt. That is the voltage across XL and XC at resonance. And there is one more question, I think. Yeah. What is the peak value of voltage across the capacitor? As That's all. Peak value of voltage across the capacitor and inductor at resonance is 10 to the power 3 volt. This, is, this itself is a peak value. Since the current itself, this is the peak value of current. Because uh, we have used the peak value of voltage, 100 volt. 100 volt itself is the peak value of voltage. This is peak and this is peak. So, this is also peak voltage. Peak value of voltage across inductor and capacitor are same, which is equal to 10 to the power 3 volt. Very simple problem. You will have to use many small, small formulas as well. Thank you.